the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing the video about AT&T so I'm on their website here and I'm on their uh, I'm on their about page here and today we today we, I'm gonna be talking about their 5G network it says that AT&T first to make mobile 5G service live in the US on December 21st which is Friday guys just two days away so 5G on AT&T will be launching on Friday guys this is so fucking awesome and their first 5G their first 5G device is this Mobile hotspot right here, and um, this is what their first their first 5G device is. This hotspot, um, you know, it looks pretty nice and all that. And um, I like the pattern and shit on there. You know, it has the power button, back button, home button, and I think it is touch screen. I think it is. So um, yeah. So let, let's take this out, shall we? And if you guys want to check out that video, this video right here. That went past. You guys check out this video right here. Um, that will be linked in the description box of the video. So if you guys want to check that out, go right ahead. Um, it says Bubble 5G becoming a reality in 12 cities with rapid enhancements to follow as the ecosystem evolves. It says on December 21st, AT&T will be the first and only company in the U.S. to offer a mobile 5G device over a commercial standard-based mobile 5G network. We have worked closely with our technology suppliers to reach this mobile 5G milestone. While the initial launch starts small and will be limited, as the 5G ecosystem as the 5G ecosystem evolves, customers will see enhancements in coverage, speeds, and devices. All right. Here's a quote from President of AT&T Labs and Chief Technology Officer Andre. I can't pronounce his last name, but he says, "Quote: This is the first taste of the mobile 5G era." End quote. Then he goes on to say, "Being first, you can expect us to evolve very quickly. It's eat early on the 5G journey, and we are ready to learn fast and continually iterate in the months ahead." All right. End quote. So, yeah, that's a win right there. So, um. You know, yeah, so this is pretty cool, guys. So, I mean, AT&T is launching 5G this week on Friday, man. This is fucking cool, man. Yo, this is fucking awesome. So, yeah. So, so, so shout out to AT&T. Um, our standard-based mobile 5G network is live today in parts of 12 cities in Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, and Annapolis, Jacksonville, Louisville. Oklahoma City, New Orleans, Raleigh, San Antonio, and Waco, Texas. All right. So that's available now. It says that's yeah, it's available in the cities for now. And it says in the first half of 2019, we plan to deploy mobile 5G in parts of these seven additional cities: Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Nashville, Orlando, San Diego, San Francisco, and San Jose, California. All right. Um, here's a quote from uh, Chief Marketing Officer of at and Business, and, and they say, quote, as the ecosystem evolves, this technology will ultimately change the way we live and conduct business, end quote. Then they're going to say, quote, we expect that our initial adopters will be innovative, growing businesses. They are the starting point for what we think will be a technology revolution like we've never seen before, end quote. It says, early adopters will be, able, will be the first to experience the Netgear Nighthawk 5G mobile hotspot on our network, on our mobile 5G plus network. So, like I said, the first 5G device from AT&T is this Netgear Nighthawk. It's a mobile hotspot. It's a portable device. And, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it looks nice, man. This, it, lo it looks nice, you know. Um... 5G Plus is built to provide a mobile 5G experience over MM Wave Spectrum, offering users a faster mobile experience than standard LTE. 5G Plus 
will start out in dense urban areas but if you are outside the 5G plus network coverage you'll still be able to access the nation's best network in 5G evolution and 385 markets on the Netgear Nighthawk 5G mobile hotspot though the initial offer though through an initial through an initial offer we will deliver so like businesses and customers are first mobile 5G device plus 5G data usage at no cost for at least 90 days next spring customers will be able to get the Nighthawk for $4.99 Upfront and 15 gigabytes of data for $70 a month on a compatible plan and no annual commitment. So this uh Netgear Nighthawk mobile hotspot it's 500 bucks uh, as a 500 bucks uh, um upfront out the door. I don't think you I don't think you'll be able to get this thing on a monthly installment plan. I doubt it. So if you guys want to get this thing, you guys better penny up 500 bucks to get this thing. Oh my, this thing 500 bucks. God damn, man. Whew. So yeah, I mean yeah, Jerry, I mean yeah, you're gonna be paying for yeah, you're gonna be paying for the 5G service. You 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 are gonna be paying for 5G service with this fucking device right here. 500 bucks. Whoa. Um. And then uh, in the spring of 2019, AT&T will be launching a seventy-dollar plan that comes with ten, with 15 gigabytes of 5G data on a compatible plan and shit like that. Um. So yeah. Um. With the 15 gigabytes, uh, you uh, you can get through that shit quickly. Of course, you guys know that 15 gigabytes is not a lot. I mean, 15 bucks is something. 15 gigabytes for 70 bucks I mean eh, I mean it is what it is guys I mean it's AT&T so you'll be paying out the ass and of course this is 5G data we're talking about it's 5G data so you'll be paying more for the technology and each time a newer technology comes out like a newer generation technology you'll be, you'll be paying more for it so 5G is gonna be expensive as fuck and yeah this Says is uh says the Nighthawk will be available next spring though, so it's not gonna be available when 5G comes out. But says certain businesses, certain businesses and customers, they will get the first 5G mobile hotspot. And they'll get it for free at no cost for for 90 days. So I think that um, select people will get it first, and then uh, in the spring of 2019, everyone that is interested in the device will be able to get it in the spring. So I do think that the AT&T uh, Netgear um, Nighthawk will be available when the 5G launches on Friday, but only certain only certain people are getting it. So you keep that in mind. But everyone will will be able to get it in the spring of 2019. Along with 15 gigabytes of data for 70 bucks for 5G data, and then after that 15 gigabytes, it's probably cat and you'll probably have to get more. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. And if you guys want to learn more about the AT&T's path to 5G, y'all, y'all guys can click on this right here, and I will put a link to that in the description box of this video. And it says here, this, this device will require a 5G compatible AT&T data plan. Device uh, device availability and 5G plus coverage areas are limited. All right. So um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, AT&T is launching its 5G network on Friday, the 21st. That is a win. Uh, it's gonna be available in uh, 12 cities to begin with. Uh, so if you guys are in this 5G market, you guys should be getting excited. So uh, their first 5G device. It's not gonna be cheap. Once we five hundred bucks, the night, the night gear Nighthawk mobile hotspot is five hundred bucks. Um, certain businesses and customers will will be getting it first, and they'll and then they'll get it for free for ninety days. So um, that's a win, and everyone will will be able to get this device. Everyone 
will be able to get this device in the spring of 2019. So yeah, I mean this is pretty cool guys. Um, the mobile hotspot itself does look nice. But 500 bucks, dude, that's a lot of money for this fucking for this device here. But it is what it is, guys. So I can't, I can't, you know, I, you know, I can't believe this shit's 500 bucks. I can't believe it's 500 bucks. I just can't believe it. It's just crazy, you know. But it is what it is, guys. So like I say, guys, y'all guys will be paying for the 5G. Y'all guys will be paying for the 5G service and the 5G hardware. This it's 500 bucks. Y'all guys are gonna be paying for the hardware to get the 5G on this thing. And if you guys get this thing and you guys don't have 5G in your area, you guys can still use this on LTE. So that is a win. So uh, if you guys have 5G in your area and you guys go out to 5G area, you guys can still use this thing. So it should be able to switch from 5G to it should be it should be able to switch from 5G to LTE just fine. So that is a win. And yeah, this device does look nice in my opinion. I do like the little pattern on the on the front of it though, I do like the patterns and stuff, it looks nice, and uh, yeah, this, I mean, 500 bucks this thing, holy fuck, man, holy fuck, so yeah, man, so shout out to AT&T, uh, they're launching 5G this Friday, dude, wow, Friday, 5G will be here in the United States of America on AT&T, holy shit, man, holy shit, so, yeah, man, this is pretty awesome, so, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.